welcome children to the next online class of biology for class 5 in today's class we are going to start with a new chapter the skeletal system you must have seen children that whenever any house is built before that a framework of sticks are laid and after that the structures like houses built on it similarly our body also has a framework of bones which supports it this framework is known as skeletal system the skeletal system is one of the most important organ system in the human body it is made mostly of bones which form the framework for the human body you can use your finger of your hand to press the wrist of the other hand what do you feel children do you feel something hard under the skin yes this hard substance that you feel is bone this is one of the hardest substance in the human body you know that when you were born you had around 270 bones but as you grow some of these bones fuse together the skeleton of an adult human has 206 bones some of the bones are displayed on your screen with the help of this diagram you will see that the largest bone is the thigh bone okay which is also known as femur and the smallest bone is found in the ear which is known as stapes the skeletal system has lot of functions first of all it is the framework for the body you can stand up straight because of the skeleton you can sit you can move because of this only it gives shape to the body it helps the body to move from one place to another it supports and protects the soft organs like heart brain kidney from being hurt or damaged inside some of the bones bone marrow is found which produces the rbcs wbcs and platelets you can observe this diagram and understand that how skeletal system is present inside lot of organs of your body in the different parts the bones that are found in each part of the body are of different shape and size we will start with the first one that is skull the bones found in the head forms the skull the skull is made up of 22 bones eight bones from the head which forms the cranium or brain case which protects your brain and 14 bones from the face the only bone that can move in the skull is the lower jaw bone which helps you to talk eat chew laugh etc you know that children the skull is very important for you because it protects your brain from being harmed it also supports the sensory organs such as eyes ears and nose and provides spaces for your teeth you can see in the diagram displayed on your screen that how there is a space for hole for the eye there is a hole for the nose there are spaces for the teeth and thus it supports the sensory organs hope you have understood this well now let us move on to the next structure the backbone the backbone or spine is made up of 33 bones which are called as vertebrae in singular form if we say single one will be known as vertebra it is also called the vertebral column and is connected to the skull each vertebra has a hole in the middle through which the delicate spinal cord that is a bundle of nerves passes 
the last the last five vertebrae are fused to form the tailbone or the coccyx you can see the tailbone they are made up of five vertebras which are fused together okay the function of the vertebral column is that it helps you to stand up straight or erect it protects the spinal cord from being hurt hope you have understood this structure the backbone now let us move on to the next structure the rib cage the rib cage is in the chest it is made up of 12 pairs of ribs okay the ones what you can see they are the ribs each rib is a slender curved bone the top 7 pairs of the ribs they are called as the true ribs because they are directly attached to the spine at the back and to the breast bone or the sternum in the front with the cartilage you can see the sternum the seven ribs are attached directly to the sternum with the help of cartilage so they are known as true ribs whereas the eighth ninth and tenth pair of ribs are attached to the cartilage of the seventh pair of ribs they are not directly attached to the sternum so they are called as false ribs the 11th and 12th pair of ribs are not attached to the sternum and are called floating ribs okay the rib cage forms a cage that protects the heart lungs diaphragm liver stomach and kidney the space that is enclosed by the rib cage is called the thoracic cavity that's all for today's class children hope you have understood it well okay we will see the other structures in the next class in the pdf files i have given the diagrams you have to draw them that's all for today's class thank you children